Hello everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm returning from a pretty long break from gaming in general. I had some life taking over. Needed to actually unwind and unplug as well. Kind of recharge my batteries. Upon returning to take a look at the storage system from my last video, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and get a little more organized with my schematics. Um, let me close this current project and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Go in here, load a schematic and we'll get out of this. I'm trying to get a little more organized. Now these are from previous instances and my naming conventions are all over the map. I have tons and tons of stuff and it's convoluted. Most of it is in one folder or another and yeah, just the naming is terrible. So I wanted to kind of polish up on that and get everything organized before I continued on with the storage hall design video that I intend to make. So let's go back in here, components, full system projects, and we'll do this one first. I need to actually be in here and we will load this in, load that project. I want to demonstrate what happened. I was trying to use the version control system, which is what this video is about. And I didn't take to heart the warning about in iterative in place design work. And that is specific to the coordinates at that location in the world, no matter what world you try to load this into. Uh, unfortunately, that is what it is. Now with this loaded in, I can actually go into load and it'll show me all of the current schematics in this project set for each version basically. And I can load in one independent by itself. And it, right here is the actual point of origin, but the build is actually over there it would seem. So let's load it, we'll unload that. And while the version control system is enabled and you actually have a project open, it changes the functionality of all of the menu here. And you can still do similar things like pasting into the world using via hotkey. Um, and things of that nature, but it does function a lot differently and it does a decent job of describing what it actually does. If you go into the menu here and you mouse over it, warning this will delete, overwrite the current blocks within the bounding box area. Um, what issue that I ran into, I had multiple builds in multiple different worlds and I wanted to consolidate that and just delete those other worlds because I didn't technically need them. So I went in and I uh, did this for this video specifically, went to the multiple worlds and grabbed copies of the schematics. A lot of them were similarly located close to the same area. So as you can see, I have this right here and this is near spawn. I deleted the pad and put in just some CD lanterns. But if I use the toggle keys I set up for going to the next version, it is way over there, probably pour the, more than 60 chunks away. And then there's, nope, that's not, uh, that's within 32 chunks. That's my full render distance. And then that one and so on and so forth. And I grabbed these, actually all six of these from three different worlds. And you can see there, those are fairly within proximity of each other, but this one is right there. And so I later went on, okay, now I kind of understand this better. So I decided, Let's close this one and we will open this one up, load it. And you can see it's way off in the distance right there. However, I need to say I've moved this into another world. I don't know which version I intend to use. So you can go in here, you can click on this, move to player, and it will actually move it to your location. Now that specific version, I don't know what I didn't manage to do, but there is an actual schematic there. Uh, but if I go to the next version, it'll put it right here. And all of these are actually in this location. That very first one, which I changed the name on it. And that might be part of the reason why it's out of order. But it, um, yeah, I changed the name on these last three. I had to do some changes in the redstone at, while I was trying to work through this. But if I arrow through the next series of them, they are all... Basically, let me kind of get somewhere, sorry about this, where you can see some of the changes. I'm just arrowing through. You can see the changes that I made trying to deal with this. But yeah, so if you decide to 
take a look at the version control system, be aware of these drawbacks that will unfortunately hinder what you expect to happen. Um, knowing this will kind of guide your thought process on what you need to do as it has mine moving forward. I do still continue, I still intend to continue to consolidate all of my builds, eliminate a lot of over <laughs> uh, overpopulating worlds. I don't need all the extra worlds where I just keep creating a new world, go in and start doing things. I want to delete all that, free up some hard drive space and go on from there. Well, that's all I kind of want to cover in this video. I do thank you for stopping by. If you want to see more content covering the version control system, as I learn it, I can make new videos. Just let me know in the comments down below and you have a good one. We'll see you in the next one, everybody.